Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create Brevo contacts from HubSpot CRM and send email campaign. I want that whenever a new contact is added in my HubSpot CRM account, automatically by using the same details a new contact should also be added in my Brevo account. And at last I also want to send an email campaign to the person who is recently added as a contact in my Brevo. So how we are going to automate this process without any efforts? For that we will have to integrate both these applications and to do the same we are going to use an automation and integration software Pabli Connect in order to connect all of them. So what we are going to do? We have HubSpot CRM in our trigger and Brevo in our action. So we will be connecting all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new contact will be added in my HubSpot CRM, automatically a new contact will also be added using the same details in my Brevo and at last an email campaign will be sent to the contact which is recently added by using Brevo only. So to learn the entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn that whenever a new contact is added in HubSpot CRM, automatically by using the details of the same contact, a new contact should also be added in Brevo. And after that, we want to send an email campaign to the same contact by using Brevo. Okay, so let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for fably.com slash connect. And as we do that, we will come on the landing page of the software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it will take only two minutes. Also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software. Because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. After coming on all apps section, we can find all the products offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And this will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we can find all the workflows which we create and to create a new workflow we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it. And now a dialog box has appeared in front of us which is asking us to provide this workflow a suitable name. So let's give it a name as create Brevo contacts and send text email campaign for HubSpot contact. Okay. So I have given a random name to this workflow and after giving the name let's click on create. And we can find two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic principles or the basic concepts on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards the trigger. Trigger is the very first step of every workflow and it initiates the entire workflow. Okay, so we can have only one trigger, but we can have multiple actions in every workflow. So let's understand trigger and action once again with example of this workflow. Here we are going to take HubSpot CRM in our trigger and Brevo in our action. And we want that whenever a new contact is added in HubSpot CRM, automatically by using the details of that contact, a new contact should also be added in our Brevo and automatically an email campaign should be sent to that same contact. So this is our trigger and action. Now let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we have to select our trigger app application which is going to be HubSpot so let's select it and now we will select our trigger event so it is new contact added because we want that whenever a new contact is added in HubSpot CRM then this workflow should continue click on connect and from the given options let's select add new connection here we have to click on connect with HubSpot CRM we will select the account and we can find that automatically and very easily our HubSpot CRM account is connected with Pabli Connect. Why? Because I was already logged into my HubSpot CRM account before making up a connection with Pabli Connect. So you also have to keep in mind always to keep log into your HubSpot CRM account before making up a connection with Pabli Connect because it makes the connection simple and easier. Now the next it is asking us for the output properties. That means the properties of the contact which we want to use in order to create a new contact. Okay. So here I am selecting just the basic details such as first name, last name, email and the contact phone number. Okay. So I am selecting just the basic details. You can select the properties of your own choice. N now let's click on save and send test request. So because the polling time of HubSpot CRM is 8 hours, therefore it checks for the data in every 8 hours. Okay. So we have received the response which was last created as a contact in HubSpot CRM. So what we are going to do, we will go on our HubSpot CRM account and we are going to create a new contact here by clicking on create contact. Okay. So we are going to create a new contact by entering the details. Now here I'm going to enter the random details as 
demo contact at the rate publitudes dot com for the first name I'm using demo and for the last name I'm using contact. Okay. Let us enter the mobile number and for the company name I'm going to use Pabli. For the city, let's enter Bhopal and for and in the region I'm going to enter India. Okay. Click on create. And our new contact is created over here as the name with the name as demo contact. Now we will again go on Pabli Connect and we will again click on Save and Send Test Request. And we will see that a new response is received over here of the contact which is recently created in HubSpot CRM. Okay. So now let's move on. And by using this particular detail, we are going to create a new contact in Brevo. So we will select our action application, which is going to be Brevo. Select it. And in our action event, we are going to select create or update contact. Click on connect and we will go with add new connection. Here we have to enter two details, domain and API key. So we have to enter both. First of all, let's enter the domain. Okay. So from where we are going to find that for that, we have to go on our Brevo account. Okay. First of all, let's go on home and we can find that our domain is given over here so as you can find that my domain here is brevo.com only so i am keeping it the same okay so the next is api key from where we are going to find it for that we have to go on smtp and api page of our brevo account okay so again we will go on our brevo account and from the top right corner we can find the profile option under that we have to go on smtp and api so let's select it and here we have to go on API keys. Here we can find several API keys are already present over here for different workflows. Now to create a new API key, we have to click on generate a new API key button and we have to give a random name to this particular API. So I'm giving as test key. Okay. We will click on generate and we can find that our API key is generated over here. We will copy it and we will paste it over here okay now click on save and here we can find that our brevo account is successfully connected with public connect now we will move on and we have to enter the details given over here so first of all it is asking us for the email of the contact so we are going to use the response which we have received through hubspot crm in order to map the details over here so we will simply click on our previous step like this and we will search for the email and it is mapped why we are doing this because we want that whenever a new response is received in Pabli Connect, then automatically these fields should be replaced with the new details and the workflow should not get stuck due to dynamic data. And if we will enter the email or the other details manually one by one, then that particular data will become static and it will not change with every new response. Then the workflow will get stuck and the process will not get automated. Okay. So therefore, in order to automate the entire process without doing any manual step, we use the step of mapping. Okay. Now next is email blacklisted. So it is written set through this field to blacklist the contacts for email. If we want to blacklist the contacts for email, we have to select true here but i do not want to blacklist the contact for email because basically i want to send email campaign here to this particular contact therefore i am keeping it as false okay now next is we have to select list here in which we want to add a new contact so here i am going to select the list as new list because i want to create new contacts in this particular list so after that we have to enter the last name so we will use the step of mapping again and the first name as well done and some of the details are optional here so i'm ignoring it for now you can enter them according to your preference now i will simply click on save and send test request so here we can find that we have received a response and now we will go and check on our brevo account for our new contacts we will go on contact section from left side and under that we will select our list so i want to select this new list i will open it and here I can find that yes, a new contact named as demo contact is created over here with the same first name and last name, which we have received from HubSpot CRM. Okay. So now we will move on to a next step and we want to send an email campaign to this particular contact. Okay. So for that, we will again go on public connect and we will click on this plus sign to add one more action step here. And here also we are going to select Brevo in our action application. In our action event, we are going to select send a test email campaign. Click on connect and we will go with existing connection only. Click on save. 
and we can find that our Brevo account is again connected with Pabli Connect. Here it is asking us for the two details, campaign ID and the email. That is the email of the person to whom we want to send the campaign. Okay. So from where we are going to find this campaign ID for that again, we have to go on our Brevo account and we have to go this time on campaigns from the left side. So basically I have created a new campaign which is named as contacts for this particular workflow and it has the ID as 27. So we can find the ID of our campaign from here and let me show you the preview of this particular campaign also. So this is the preview of the campaign which I have created the name as contacts. It contains a body as thank you for contacting us. This is to inform you that you are recently added as one of our important contacts. If you have any further query, please reach out to us. I have taken very simple body just to show you how the campaign is sent. You can customize your campaign as you want by going on the campaign section in Brevo and by clicking on this create a campaign button. So from the given options, you can select your campaign type such as email. So we have selected a campaign type as email here. Now we have to give the random name to this particular campaign. Let us say test and we will click on create campaign in order to create this campaign. Here we have to enter the details which it is asking such as from that is we have to enter the email ID from which we want to send the email campaign to to the contacts to whom we want to send the email campaign. We can add this recipients from here. So I have basically selected a proper list named as new list because I want that whenever a new contact will be added in this particular list then then the contacts which are there in this particular list named as new list should get the email campaign okay and after that we can also add a subject line and we can even design our own email content okay so in this way you can create your own email campaign now because I have already selected my email campaign and I've also copied the campaign ID so I'm going to paste it over here okay done now we have to enter the email so we are going to use the step of mapping again in order to map the email so we have mapped the email and we will click on save and send test request so here we can find that yes we have received a response and now we have to go and check on this particular email id which we have mapped here whether the email campaign is received there or not okay so let us go and check and here we can find that yes, a new email campaign is received here on this email ID with the same body which I have used in my email campaign. So that means our workflow is perfectly successful. Now we will go back on Public Connect again and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow. So here we have taken three steps, trigger and two actions. In trigger, we have taken HubSpot CRM and in action, we have taken Brevo. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new contact will be added in a HubSpot CRM, automatically by using the details of the same contact, a new contact will be created in Brevo and automatically an email campaign will be sent to the contact which is added in our Brevo account. Okay, so these are the steps which we have to follow in order to integrate all of them by using Pabli Connect. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.